Hello friends, welcome to the session on oscillators. In this session, we will be discussing about uh, time-based circuits or time-based generators. In this session, we will see what we mean by time-based circuits or time-based generators. We will see what are the different methods for the generation of time-based signals. And also, we will see what is the exponential charging of the capacitor through which we can generate such type of the voltage. Friends, you know that you are viewing this session on my YouTube channel, Learn with Prakash Kanare, and do subscribe to the channel to see many videos on the subjects of electronics and computer science. So let us start the session with the question, what we mean by the time-based circuits or time-based generators. Time-based circuits are those circuits that can generate the linear time scale and such circuit are being called as the time-based circuits or time-based generators. That is, these circuits will generate a voltage or current that will vary linearly with time. That is, whenever we plot the waveform of such voltage, then you will find that as the time goes on increasing, the voltage also goes on increasing. This voltage sometimes is also called as the swift voltage or ramp voltage. So these circuits are used to generate the sweep voltage or sometimes this circuit will generate the sweep current and therefore these circuits are to be called as the sweep circuits or ramp circuits. These circuits are very popular circuits and they are used in many applications such as cathode ray oscilloscopes, radar and television screens. So whenever we want to achieve a horizontal motion of the electron beam on the screen of the CRO or radar or television, then for such achievement, these time-based circuits are used. Now, one can easily observe that the sweep voltage or the ramp voltage that is being generated will have the shape as shown in the figure. So initially, the value of the voltage will be zero. As the time goes on increasing, the voltage also goes on increasing. After achieving certain level or value, the voltage falls down to the initial value. So this time period is being called as the sweep time. And the time, this time period is being called as the retrace time or flyback time. Many times, it is being observed that if the linearity of this voltage is increased, then the voltage looks like the tooth of the saw. When the voltage that is being increased linearly with the time, then here almost we will get a straight curve. And when the voltage decreases suddenly, then the shape of the waveform is like the tooth of the saw. And therefore, such voltage is being called as a sawtooth voltage or sweep voltage. So sweep time is the time required by the voltage to rise to its maximum value. So this time period TS shown in this waveform is being called as the sweep time. The restoration time or the flyback time is the time taken by the voltage to fall to its initial value. So this time period is being called as the restoration time or flyback time. So one can easily observe that the sweep time is much larger than the restoration time or we can say that the value of the TR must be very very small than that of TS. When the linearity of the sweep voltage is increased then the sweep voltage will looks like the tooth of the saw and therefore many times it is being called as a sawtooth voltage or such voltage is also called as the ramp voltage. Now we will understand one important parameter about the sweep voltage and this parameter is being called as the sweep speed error. So this is the parameter which is used to describe the linearity of the sweep voltage. So linearity of the sweep voltage is being measured by a parameter and this parameter is being called as the sweep speed error. So sweep speed error is being defined as the ratio of difference in the slope at the beginning and at the end of the sweep to initial value of the slope. So whenever we take the difference of the slope, whenever we compute the slope at the beginning and at the end 
of the sweep voltage and we take the difference and then we divide it by the initial value of the slope then that is being called as a sweep speed error therefore we can write the formula for sweep speed error es is equal to difference in the slope at beginning and and at the end of the sweep divided by initial value of the slope that is dv0 by dt at time t is equal to 0 minus dvo upon dt at time t is equal to ts so dvo will give the change in the voltage with respect to the time so it is just nothing but the slope at time t is equal to 0 and at time t is equal to ts so we take the difference in the slope and then we divide this equation by the initial value of the slope that is dvo upon dt at the time t is equal to 0. So the value of the sweep speed error must be as small as possible. If it is small, then we can say that the linearity of the sweep voltage is much higher. So it is always uh, expected that the linearity of the sweep voltage must be as high as possible. Now we will go for the different types of the time-based circuits or time-based generators. Basically, you can say that there are two types of the time-based circuits. The first type is being called as a free-running time-based generator. So in such type of the circuit, the sawtooth voltage or sweep voltage is being automatically generated without applying any external pulse or any external signal. So these are the generators which generate a continuous wave of the sawtooth voltage. There are certain circuits where we need to apply a trigger pulse at certain interval and therefore such circuits are being called as the triggered time-based generators. So whenever the sawtooth waveform is generated by applying external trigger pulse and this pulse is being applied at the irregular intervals, then such circuits are being called as the triggered time-based generators. Sometimes you will find that the time-based generator generates the voltage that varies linearly with the time and therefore such circuits are being called as the voltage time-based generators. Sometimes you will find that there are generators which will generate the output current that varies linearly with the time and therefore such circuits are being called as the current time-based generators. Now we will go for what are the different methods that are being used for the generation of the sweep voltage. So basically you can say that there are four methods for the generation of the time-based waveforms or sweep voltage. The first method is being called as exponential charging method. So this is the simplest form of sweep circuit where a capacitor is being charged through a resistance to a certain voltage level and then it is discharged through some switch. So by charging and discharging of the capacitor, we can generate the sweep voltage. But here the condition is that the sweep voltage must be very small compared to that of supply voltage. There is another method and this method is being called as a constant current charging. In this case, the capacitor is being charged linearly by a constant current source. So whenever the current flowing through the capacitor is being kept constant, then the linearity of the sweep voltage increases. And such method is being called as a constant current charging method. Another popular circuit is being called as a Miller integration. In this method, the capacitor is being used along with a high gain amplifier. And the capacitor has two terminals out of which one terminal is being kept at nearly zero voltage so that the current flowing through the capacitor is being constant and so that the ramp voltage or ramp waveform can be generated. Another method that is being used is being called as a bootstrap method. In this method, the capacitor is being charged by constant current. So the current flowing through the series resistance is being kept constant. That is the voltage across the resistance is maintained constant so that the current flowing through the capacitor is constant and therefore a linear sweep voltage can be generated in the bootstrap method. Now we will go for the exponential sweep circuit. 
So as far as this session is concerned, we will discuss the exponential sweep circuit and the other methods will be discussed in another session. Now, suppose we have a capacitor C and a resistance R and a capacitor C is connected to the positive power supply plus V through the resistance R. And across the capacitor, suppose we have a switch S. So by charging a capacitor C through the resistance R, it's possible that we can generate the exponential sweep. Now the circuit diagram is as shown in the figure where there are only two components, a series resistance R and a capacitor C. Now the switch S is to be connected across the capacitor C. Resistance R and capacitor C both are connected to the positive VCC or plus V power supply as shown in the figure. Now when the switch S is open, then the capacitor C will start charging through the resistance R and we know that the voltage across the capacitor will go on increasing exponentially as shown in this diagram. So the voltage across the capacitor will go on increasing exponentially that it rises as the time goes on increasing. Now when the capacitor is charged to a sufficient voltage, then we can close the switch. And when we close the switch, then the charged capacitor will discharge through the switch. And therefore the voltage across the capacitor will fall down suddenly or abruptly. So the voltage across the capacitor will fall down when the capacitor C will get discharged through this switch. So one can easily observe that the sweep voltage is being generated across the capacitor C. But here the condition that it has to be satisfied is that this sweep voltage must be lower than the supply voltage plus V. Now we can write the equation for the charging of the capacitor or sweep voltage Vs is equal to V into one minus E raised to minus T upon RC. And we can compute the sweep speed error Es is equal to Vs upon V. Now this term one minus E raised to minus T upon RC can be written as one minus one minus T upon RC plus T upon RC square divided by two minus T upon RC cube divided by three plus dot dot dot. Now here we can neglect the all other higher terms and we will consider only the first term T upon RC and suppose the sweep voltage is being assumed achieved at the time T is equal to Ts. Then we can write the sweep speed error Es is equal to Vs upon V is equal to Ts upon RC or Ts upon tau. So the RC time constant is being represented by tau. So we should keep the sweep speed error small. So in order to keep the sweep speed error small, Vs should be smaller than V. And also the time constant RC must be larger than Ts. So if this condition is being satisfied, then the sweep speed error will be small and a linear voltage can be generated across the capacitor. So thank you friends for viewing the session. Hopefully you have understood what we mean by the time-based generated generators and how a simple exponential sweep voltage can be generated by charging a capacitor C through the resistance R. Thank you all for viewing the session.